Hello and thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going manga shopping in Liverpool. I am a bit poorly at the moment, so please forgive my voice and I will try and cut out all the coughs and sneezes. Do not worry. But yes, we are in Liverpool. This is the first time I had actually ever been to Liverpool. Well, actually, no, I think I'd stopped by once to go to like the passport office or something. But I'd never actually gone into Liverpool, which is crazy considering how close Liverpool actually is to me. It was really cold. It was really, really cold. It was also like one, two o'clock on a Wednesday. I was heading there for a work thing. Now there are two Forbidden Planets in Liverpool, a regular Forbidden Planet and a Forbidden Planet International. My original intention was to try and go to the international one uh, second, but then I realized there's the station and the store is literally just down here. It was so close. I pretty much, I have to go past it to go to the other one, which feels really silly to backtrack so much. Uh, yeah, because usually I'll try and do the store that doesn't do three for two on everything first, and then I go to the other one, but I wasn't going to just double up how much walking I did. Anywho, yes. First time ever in Liverpool, first time in these stores. I see a three for two sign there already. I was kind of surprised in my initial walk in with how big it seemed to be. Now I've just seen some pictures online and a few TikToks of other people who'd gone into the store. Otherwise, I just didn't really have anything to base it on. I've been to a few international stores now, particularly the ones in the north, basically. And so far I do think that Leeds is probably the biggest. Manchester's close, but I don't, I, I don't feel like at least the manga section feels as big as Leeds. There's a lot of Funko Pops upstairs in Manchester, but in here, there were also a lot of Funko Pops and a lot of blind boxes. Now, I don't know if I just timed it right, if the other stores, um, international stores now also have a wider range of blind boxes, because the last time I went to Leeds before I filmed this, they didn't, but I did actually go again not long after this and they did have some more. They had some like the 52 toys, which they've not had before, which is like those elf ones. I quite like the elf ones. And they had some blind boxes on sale at half price, which was crazy. I'd never seen blind boxes on sale before, so I was like, well, I don't really know what they are. They're not often something I'd go for, but if it's half price, why not? I also really like the elf ones. You know me doing that. I really like the elf ones, and I have contemplated getting full sets of those, um, but I haven't as of yet. And I also really like these birds. They look so silly. And it was at this point where I was like, I need a basket. Excuse me, do you have baskets? Turns out I'd missed them on my way into the store because it was behind the caution sign, silly me. Hey ho, never mind. Did we just dump all the blind boxes I was cradling into the ba into the basket. Yes, yeah, so I felt like there was a lot of blind boxes. I don't think actually they have as many in hindsight as Leeds do, um, but I don't know if Leeds just spreads them out a bit more, I'm not sure. But they had a lot of Funko Pops and I was a little tempted by some of the Disney ones, but I'm trying to pick up less figures now and I, I'm also trying to pick up a bit less blind boxes now as well. I really want to start picking up some more Nendroids. I really like Nendroids. I have a basket of Nendroids I want to order. I'm just waiting till the end of the month. Yeah, there's a lot of Funko Pops. A lot, a lot of Funko Pops. Funko Pop walls scare me. I don't know why, but they do. They always scare me. But there was a whole bunch of other stuff, like Disney stuff, Disney 100 stuff. Star Wars, Marvel, board games. I don't remember if there were this many board games and card games in other internationals. I'm like questioning myself now, like do they have them in the other stores? At this point, I'd realized that the manga was actually downstairs, down a flight of stairs, because as soon as you see stairs, you know the manga's gonna be down there, because that's where it belongs. In the pit. In the basement. 
So I was kind of just see what else there was. A lot of graphic novels, comics, a lot of graphic novels it felt like. What I must say is I hated this staircase. I don't know what it was about it, but I just felt, I don't know if it's because it was a spiral or what, but I felt I was just going to fall over and I didn't like it. Anywho, I was quite surprised going down into the basement. I realised I didn't hold the camera up because there was a lot of people and I was trying to not catch poor randomers in the shot. I'll probably, I did take a picture though, so I'll make that the thumbnail. Um, but like, I like that the manga, it goes all the way around the edges, which is how they now do it in Leeds. I think it's a lot more, like you get a lot more space in the manga and also there's more space to be able to go around and look at it. I felt often when it was in the middle of the aisles in Leeds, you kept bumping into people and I find it's, you don't tend to as much when it's on the outskirts. If you want a better look at what's on the shelves, do feel free to like pause, rewind, slow down, whatever. I find it really difficult actually to understand how slowly you're filming the shelves as you go. Because I think I'm going really, really slowly and I'm like, actually, I probably could have slowed down a little bit more. I used to slow down the footage, but I think it actually started to give me a headache watching it back. And I didn't want to give anyone else a headache. So I, I'd say do it at your own discretion if you are more interested to see exactly what's on the shelves. So I wasn't really looking for anything in particular, I was more just sort of seeing what sort of stuff did they have on their shelves. And I must say, very impressed. I'd said to myself that um, I'd probably try and pick up some random new releases or some volume ones. I do like to pick up random volume ones when I go in store particularly. And the one I just picked up, which name I can't remember, Gas something, I'd seen had won some awards. So I was quite excited to see that in a store new release so I could pick it up. Though Kodansha now is 12 99 so in a 3 for 2 it's like £8.60 I want to say, which is uh, a bit pricey. Anything under 8 I'm usually pretty happy with. As soon as it goes over it, I'm like, how dare you? I don't know why I'm that dramatic. But yeah, then there were also all these aisles down the middle where they had like other figure stuff, Gunpla, Gundam, that sort of thing. And some plushies, sweets, stuff like that, but I do go up a few of them later on. I was trying to not really look too much at, was on, at what exactly was on the shelves. I'm always like, I'll just go around, catch clips of everything, and then go back around after. Because then I can also have my spreadsheet open on my phone at the same time. Because I was uh, doing this for a work trip, I didn't have Ben with me this time, which meant... I was doing everything on my own, the filming, the carrying the basket, and the carrying of anything I picked up. So I did have to be a little more cautious of how much I bought. Which I did slightly fail at, you'll see why. But I was very impressed with the section they had. They had quite a variety of different like publishers and volumes. Volumes, I think... I've not seen in other stores as well. Even some stuff like Rose of Versailles, I don't think I remember seeing that in Leeds. Do scream at me if I'm wrong. Whole bunch of slam dunk, lots of Viz stuff. Even like the summertime rendering. I don't think there's a full set, but there's quite a few volumes from it. And then we have the waifu aisle. Lots of, lots of REM. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't remember there being that much REM. And Sailor Moon. Like big chunks of series, longer running series, lots of Toilet Band Nokokun, lots of to to Tokyo Avengers, Tokyo Ghoul. Twin Star Exorcist, that's really nice to see a chunk of a series because sometimes it's a pain where it's like, well, it's a 20 plus volume series and they have like one or two volumes and it's like middle of the series and it's like, well, that's not that helpful. It's not even the latest and it's not the first one. At least it was like a good chunk of stuff. There was also a whole lot of new Yen Press stuff, a whole bunch of new Kodansha stuff, and they had a whole bookcase of light novels, which is nice to see happen more and more frequently, especially for people like Ben, who like to actually read their words. 
We also had art books, more plushies, more manga merch, lots of Naruto stuff, extra figures and nendroids and Funko Pops in this glass cabinet. Look at this guts. 80 pounds though is terrifying for a nendroid, but I'm also very cheap. They had box sets, plushies, all sorts. Japanese food, stuff, drinks, and stuff that looks... yes. Oh, Pokemon cards. So I think my thoughts, having done my loop around the shelves, is it's similar, if not potentially slightly better than the selection in Leeds. Now, I couldn't find a sale section, which... Slight negative points in my opinion, but that's because I'm very cheap. That's not necessarily a complete bad thing. Um, this is also me slightly just recording volumes I was interested in picking up, but not in the price brackets I was wanting for at that time. Uh, just so I can remember them. Um, but yeah, I think the manga selection was a bit better than Leeds, but I don't know if that's just because I'm so used to Leeds and I go back to Leeds so often that it was like, yeah, if that makes any sense. I, but I think I was very impressed. It's definitely better than Manchester. Manchester's is really sad. So this is my basket, seeing a whole bunch of Soul Eater that I've not been able to find elsewhere, kind of like tipped me over and I was a little naughty. Um, and I got some blind boxes. So this is my bag of goodies and now we're on our way to the Forbidden Planet which is the same chain as the one in London. So as I've said a few different times, the Forbidden Planet and Forbidden Land International are two different chains. Uh, the store I went to actually was a Worlds Apart, which is still Forbidden Planet International. I believe they bought out another chain called Worlds Apart and kept the branding. They are completely different chains. The International Worlds Apart does three for two on everything, whereas this one the same as London only does three for two on Viz and Seven Seas. Also, I thought you'll see why I said that in a minute. As I went in, I was like, is this the first Forbidden Planet I've been to outside of London? And then I remembered, no, I actually went to the one in Newcastle when I, the same day I did all the traveling mans in one day with Divi Ataku and Dragon Ball Zari. And that one really surprised me. I thought it was quite nice and big and spacious and clean. Whereas this one felt really like, it was nice to see a doggy, but it felt really dreary. It kind of felt like it not really seen much love. It was a bit, I felt really odd in there. I don't know if that's too dramatic or what. I don't know if it was like the lighting or the coloring of the shelves or what. But, I, you know, actually, I must say, I was really surprised at how busy both stores were at, like, 2, 3 p.m. on a Wednesday, because it's middle of the work week. I was there just before heading off to my work event. And then, obviously, we have to go and find the manga. I wasn't expecting too much with how small the store seemed to be. And, yeah, so that was everything. It was... It wasn't an amazing selection it was weird it felt like oh it doesn't feel like it has much but it had a lot of the big ticket series a lot of the big fizz ones a lot of the big series that aren't fizz so they had berserk attack on titan and what i noticed the same as the london store is they get a lot of fizz releases quite a bit earlier than anywhere else seems to so we've already seen a couple as i scanned the shells like dandadan six at this point, as I said, it was like mid-January that I filmed this and I went to Liverpool. So I think it had just come out or was coming out. Considering they do 3 for 2 on 7 Cs as well, I don't feel like there was an amazing 7 Cs selection. 
there was quite a lot of Danmei, which surprised me of all the Seven Seas stuff to have a hit, that choosing to have a lot of that. I did, but it's also just not something I'm into because they're like novels as more often than not. Um, but usually there's a lot of really weird 70s series that I like to pick up that I see in London, but I assume just because it's a lot smaller, they don't stock those kind of things. Yeah, it wasn't the worst, but I think I'm not sure I'd like rush back to this store. I think it like the selection was fine. I did manage to pick some stuff up and then it was like do they have a sale section? I think this was the sale section. I think this man was the only like manga they had in the sale section, which again is fine. Not having a sale section isn't like I don't think it's like a massive negative, but it's just I'm cheap and I like to look at sale sections cuz I like to pick terrible things in the sale sections. I thought I'd have a little look around before I started picking up more manga because I still had all the bags from the other store um, so I wanted to make sure I could get the filming in before I started picking up some more stuff to buy. I don't know. I think... I think just because I'd been blown away by the Newcastle store but the Newcastle store is a considerable size bigger than this one. I think it must be like four times bigger than this, at least. I'm trying to remember. It has like two halves to the store and this feels like half of the first half. So it'd be a quarter. <laughs> uh, forgive me, I'm still poorly. So yeah, I went through and picked up some of the new Viz stuff. Like down to down six, kaiju number eight, and then this new one I'd seen a lot of people talk about. I didn't realise it was age 16 plus though, which amused me. And then I was quite surprised to see this series in 3 for 2 by Titan Manga. I also think they had stuff by Ablaze Manga in the 3 for 2, which is interesting that those two are considered in the 3 for 2. So I did manage to still find volumes, but it was like only new releases. And at this point, I was like, oh, I actually have like an hour and a half to kill, so let's try and find my hotel. And my hotel was like on the way down to the docks. So I was like, well, I'll just walk straight from the city stuff down to the docks and say hello to the little seagull. And it got, it had been snowing and it was icy and I was wearing my winter boots and I was so worried I was gonna fall. And I just spent like 20 minutes going through a housing estate and I was so confused and then I saw my hotel and I almost cried. Okay, well we're actually here. Let me show you my room first off. Bathroom, swanky. Why is the toilet on an angle? That's really weird. That's really big shower, very bedraggled kittens. But what is with the slidey door? Like I see this lots now in hotels. Like why? And then the room, look at that little sofa, look at that little sofa. Bed lights, got any plugs near the bed? No. TV, little desk, another bedraggle cake tins. It's definitely a lot bigger than the one I had in Brighton. Brighton was like a shoebox. I weirdly kind of liked it though. I did weirdly kind of like it. And then we've got the goodies. Do I do the unboxing now? I might leave it till I get back. So basically I need to head out in about an hour to set up for the event I'm helping out tomorrow and then we're gonna come back, get some food and then retire to the, our rooms. And then we went, went out for dinner and it was so pretty. I loved the lights and the, like the water, the dock. It was just so nice. And then look at this tree. This is a tree I need in my garden. Um, yes, so I had actually filmed a like thoughts thing in my hotel room, but my hotel room air conditioner had broken or something. It was making a horrific noise and I hadn't realized how bad it was on the recording. So I'll do like my like thoughts and outro whilst I do my blind box openings now that I'm back home. This is like the day after I got back home and I'm opening everything I got. I'll call them for Bin Planet and Worlds Apart to make it easier to differentiate with Worlds Apart being the first store, three for two on everything. The Worlds Apart definitely blew me away. I was definitely a lot more impressed. I don't know if I was more impressed than I thought I would be. 
but I was definitely more impressed and I would potentially argue that I think the manga selection might be better than Leeds. But I don't know if that's just biased because I, I'm in Leeds frequently enough that I, I know what that stock is like. Maybe someone who visits the Liverpool one and comes to Leeds might be blown away by that stock. But I like the size of the store, I liked the upstairs, and I do kind of like that manga goes in the basement, it does tickle me, though it is less keen to have to carry that basket upstairs a little bit, because it's heavy. I also didn't like those stairs at all, the curly curly stairs. The curved staircase, like, as much as I would dream and romanticise a curved staircase, I think, I just feel like I'm going to fall down all the time. It was really great to see so much Soul Eater and a whole bunch of just general Yen Press series. I realised I got really angry at this uh, blind box I didn't really explain why. It's because it, it turns out every um, part in that blind box set came with a part of a table and if you get the full set you can build the table and I'm like well I'm not going to buy a full set so I can't make this full table. So I've got these random bits of table that I've got nothing to do with and I'm so annoyed. Why would- oh I didn't like that. Also I realised that the first time I ever got like a hidden design in a blind box was when I bought one on sale that I wasn't that fussed by and that amused me and annoyed me all at once. Anywho, World Apart Manga Selection. They had a lot of Yen Press, I liked that it was 10 because I feel like Yen Press had started to drip tip up towards 11 99 when I seed it, seed it, saw it in Leeds. Um, so getting a whole bunch of Sully to getting some ReZero and in hindsight there are a few other Yen Press series I probably could have bought some more of but I was on my own and I'm weak. <laughs> I am weak as hell so I wasn't going to do that. But I was very impressed. I like the store. I would definitely want to go back if I find myself in Liverpool. For the Forbidden Planet, I was very disappointed. It felt sad. I don't really know how else to how else to describe it then. I just felt it just felt a little sad going through it. The manga selection was fine. It was nice that they also still had uh, quite new Viz releases, but that was about it. If I wasn't just picking up the new releases, I don't think there'd have been much I would have picked up. I don't know. Like, they also had some new 70s stuff. Like, I saw they had Tokyo Avengers and, like, Killing Stalking and a few others. Is that the name of it? But it was... I don't know. I feel like the selection they had, I have a bigger selection on one wall of my shelves. But I don't, I don't know if it's fair to ever compare stores to my collection nowadays, to be fair. I think I just, because I'm so used to going to London and getting the really weird random Seven Cities volumes and not really seeing those bump me out quite a lot, to be honest. I was also really hoping to try and see the new Comey in one of those in one as one of the new Viz releases, considering I love Comey and I was expecting to see it with all the other ones and it wasn't there and I still not managed to find that volume for a decent price and I'm a little bummed and annoyed about it. Anywho, so that's my thoughts. I will definitely go back to Liverpool. I'll definitely go back to World's Part. I'd probably still go back to Forbidden Planet anyway, to be fair. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry, I'm really ill and there's gonna be some random cuts where I've just like coughed or sneezed and you don't need to hear that. Yuna did once again jump into my shot. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out my social media and affiliate links found down below. Remember to join the Duda Discord server and if you're interested in early access to my videos, check out my channel members. There is also a channel for members in the Discord where I'm starting to run giveaways and such. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!